Hello guys, it's X drama. Consider the numerical expression square root of 8 power 0 0.666, etc. minus 9 power 0 0.5. We have to know that if this real number is integer or not. First of all, let's find a simpler way to write the number 0 0.666, etc. So let's take x as 0 0.666, etc. The number of 6 here is 10 to infinity. Now we have to multiply the number by 10. Then 10x will be 6.66, etc. Now we can write this number as this integer part, which is 6, plus this fractional part, which is 0 0.66, etc. But this number is also x. And so we have now 10x equals to 6 plus this is x. Now we can write 10x minus x will be 6. And so 9x equals to 6. And then x will be 6 over 9, which is 2 over 3. And so instead of this number, we can write 2 over 3. Then our numerical expression becomes square root of 8 power, this number is 2 over 3, minus 9 to the power 0 0.5 is 9 power half. Now this number can be written as 8 squared and all to the power 1 over 3 minus 9 to the power half. 8 squared is 64. And so our number is square root of 64 power 1 over 3 minus 9 power 1 over 2. We know that a to the power 1 over n is the nth root of a. And so 64 power 1 over 3 is the cubic root of 64. And 9 to the power half is the square root of 9. Now we have 64 which is equals to 4 to the power 3, and here 9, which is equals to 3 squared. And so the number is square root of cubic root of 4 cubed minus square root of 3 squared. Here we can cancel out the cube and the cubic root, and so this number is 4, and the square root and the square, and so we have this number is a 3. Therefore, square root of 8 to the power 0 0.666, etc., minus 9 to the power 0 0.5 equals to square root of 4 minus 3, which is square root of 1, and it's equal to 1. Therefore, the number square root of 8 to the power 0 0.666, etc., minus 9 to the power 0 0.5 equals to 1, which is an integer. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.